reservation. Just get us into the reservation. Defunct the kiss, but that you pay for. This punk the feeling that you stay for. In time, I want to be your best friend. Eastside love is living yeah, in the baby. West End. Knocked out the boy, you better Pretty cool go song. Too. Don't you gotta admit. You know the truth is some do. Go write your message on the pavement. Feel so bad, I By the red the hot pavement. chili peppers. Like heat is screaming in the jungle. Complete the calls can't stop. Go ask the dust for any answers. Come back strong with 50 belly dancers. The world I love, the tears I've tried uh -huh. to beat. You gotta love a song that contains the words come back strong with 50 belly dancers. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Okay. Mm-hmm. Welcome, kids. My name is Mr. Hampton. My name is still Mr. Hampton. We are still doing online asynchronous music classes. Ah, this this collar is just driving me crazy. I'm just gonna zip it up and go with the clerical look. Yeah, that's a good look. All right, so kids, uh, yeah, welcome. As I record this, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. I'm recording it a little early so that I can have a Thanksgiving break. And uh, it's good to see you even uh, virtually again. That was, as I said, a song called Can't Stop by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Cool song, cool band. And you come back strong with 50 belly dancers. Yeah. All right, so the thing you're wanting is the jokes because that's the part you can pass on to your friends and your parents. And I am your supply of humorousness. So here we go. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. You might not get this one, but I think your parents would. So here we go. Did you hear that Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be doing a movie about classical music? He'll be Bach. <laughs> I'll be Bach. He's going to be Bach. I thought that was funny. Okay. All right. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I was I was addicted to the hokey pokey. But I turned myself around. <laughs> you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oh, okay. Well, the hat, today's hat is probably one you haven't seen f before from this part of the country. It's from another part of the country. Uh, this is a UTSA hat. UTSA Roadrunners. Mm -hmm. Now you're wondering what UTSA stands for. It even says it on the back of the hat here. Mm -hmm. You're wondering what UTSA stands for. It stands for UTSA. So now you know. All right, our learning target. Hats off. Sincerity etched upon your young faces. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I can create a reggae drum part using the program that we've been using and I can unite it with the bass and guitar part, so I will have a full reggae accompaniment to Three Little Birds. I can. I can feel my potential welling up inside of me. My human potential. Mm -hmm. It's kind of inspiring in its own not that inspiring sort of way. So kids, hey, let's get started. All right, it's been pointed out to me by someone, people, that I'm being obtuse, annoyingly obtuse. I didn't explain the jokes. I didn't explain UTSA. I'm just sort of rolling. It's 
very sad. So, okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger doing a movie about classical music. One of his famous lines is, I'll be back, right? As the Terminator, I'll be back. Only in this movie about classical music, I'll be Bach. Now, Bach was a famous classical composer. That's a joke, son. But don't uh, The other one, I was addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Come on, what do I have to do? Make pens fight with each other? Hey, I'm going to hurt you bad. I know you guys would get that. Come on now. Come on now. UTSA. I told you it stood for UTSA. <laughs> it actually stands for University of Texas at San Antonio. So there you go. I have now clarified my remarks and uh, we're all good. The theme for the week, the magic word for the week is... Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, you know what to do whenever I say this. But perhaps more importantly, we're going to enjoy something that is this with us today. I have something here that's, and it's going to be with me for this lesson. Uh, so, in just a minute, I'll say the word, and you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, you're going to have to call your friend or ask your mom, because she's probably been paying attention to these videos and knows what to do. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. No, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, clean. <laughs> that was fun. I'm sure you guys did a good job at that in front of your computer on your living room floor in your pajamas. Way to go. So if I say this word anymore today, you know what to do. I'll even do it with you. All right, so there you go. And not only that, but in just a second here, I'm going to let you go grab something to enjoy the lesson with you. As I said, you guys ready to do that? Now, sadly missing from our last couple lessons has been the song Gangnam Style. So that'll be our music for today. Okay? You ready to go get something... Huh? Hmm. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll give you about 35 seconds. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Okay, time's up. That was beautiful. Really? All right, what did you get that was... Hmm? I'll tell you what I got. I got some socks. Fresh out of my sock drawer. Nice and... Clean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Now you're saying, Mr. Hampton, those socks are kind of gray. They're gray socks, okay? Don't be so quick to judge. Uh, they're supposed to be gray. Man. Okay, let's take a little time out. Okay, kids, as I said, today we are going to be put learning about a drum part. We're going to be putting a drum part in a reggae song. Okay? But first, we need to put in the other parts. Now, we've done this the last couple weeks, and maybe you even saved it uh, on your computer somewhere, and you won't have to re-input those things, but I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to share this because it's nice to share. I love sharing. Okay. So there you go. You can see uh, my little laser pointer thing there. Google Song Maker typed in. Go. And there it is. Song Maker. Chrome Music Lab. Boom. All right. First thing we're going to do, if this ever actually comes up, all right. We're going to turn the tempo, the speed, down to about 68 if this functions. Okay, good. You know what? I'll take 67. All right, don't do anything down here yet. That's where the drums go, and we're going to do that later today. Right now, we're just inputting the other parts. Now, you should know how these go by now. Let's do this. Red, 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 nothing, nothing. Green, yellow, green. That's the first eight counts. Do it again. Nothing, nothing. You guys should be getting good at this by now. Now you go up to the light green. Nothing, nothing. Uh, did I do that right? Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Okay, red, purple, red. Then you do the first one again. Nothing, nothing. All right, so there's your bass part, right? We've done this before. I'm not even going to play it for you. Then we did the guitar part with the off beats on count two, count four, count six, count eight. Then you do it again. Next part, count two, count four. Count six, count eight. Then you go up one box to light green and purple. Count two, count four, count six, count eight. And then you go back down. All right, now take a look at that. That's what your screen should look like. That is the bass part down here. That is the guitar part up here, and it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so all we need to do now, and I'm going to stop sharing here. I'm going to hang on to that because we're coming back to it when we get to the drum part when we feel like we are ready to do the drum part, which should be in a couple minutes. But first, you're gonna learn about the drums. I went and made a special video for you guys because I care. Mm -hmm. I care. And I'm going to insert that video right now. Hi, little friends. I'm here at the Magical Music Studio to give you a quick demo of the drum set. Here, you got your snare drum. Snare drum. There, operated by my foot on a pedal, is the bass drum. These are the two main elements of the drum set. And the basic beat goes bass, snare, bass, snare. That's very basic, but that's the thing. 
okay? That's it. Now, add to that this thing, these two symbols called the hi-hat. And you've got your basic drum beat. This is the beat you're gonna start with for Three Little Birds. Bass, snare, bass, snare, and then you can add other stuff. See how I put two bass notes in there, or stuff like that. Anyway, this is a drum set, bass drum, snare drum, and then you add this. This other stuff, eh, it comes later. Anyway, that's what you're gonna be doing with your, uh, with the stuff on Google Song Maker. Bass, snare, bass, snare, and these are the instruments we're talking about, okay? Okay, so you know from the video that it goes bass, snare, bass, snare, bass drum, snare drum, boom, whack, boom, whack, big, little, big, little. That is the basic drum beat for a whole lot of types of music, okay? Not every type of music, but a lot, including reggae. And so, oh, this collar is problematic. You know what? I think I'm just gonna ditch this thing and I'm gonna freeze but it's one of the sacrifices I make for the children of White Bluffs Elementary because, by golly, I love those kids. And if I have to freeze in this room to make a video, I will. I'll do it. Ten times out of ten. Okay, that was kind of inspiring. <laughs> and now we are going to create a drum part. That means I'm going to share again. We're going to go back to what we saved, what we just did. All right, and now we're gonna do this bottom line. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to where it says kit down here. Oops, I'm not sharing my laser pointer. All right, down here, you can switch what kind of a drum sound you want we were on electronic. I'm gonna switch it till it says kit because that sounds more like a regular drum set. All right, now this bottom line right here, the very bottom one, that's where you're gonna put your bass drum. The one above it is where you're gonna put your snare drum. Now, this is a very basic thing, so it doesn't have a line for anything else, but you can create that basic thing. All right. Now, it starts out with which one? Bass drum or snare drum? Bass! You're correct. Let's put bass. Boom. Then you skip one, because that's where you would put another note if you wanted one. That's still kind of in bass territory. Then you put snare drum here. Bass. Snare. Bass. Snare bass, snare. All right, let's just keep going. That's my timer telling me that I have to pause this video and teach something else. But before I do that, let's listen to this, the whole thing. cool huh I think that's pretty cool now that is the hang on let's stop sharing for a second that is the most basic drum part all right most drummers wouldn't play exactly that for the whole time they would spice things up especially with what they do on the bass drum they would start adding some other notes. And so you guys, you're gonna get to improvise a little bit here. That means make something up. I would leave the snare drums where they are, the high-pitched ones, just leave them. 
Don't mess with those. But let's let's share again. But uh, on the bass drum part, you can put other stuff in. Okay. Let's try another one there. Let's try another one there. Let's try another one there. See what that sounds like. You see what I mean? You can put bass drums at random in here. Just don't put it at the same place as the snare drum. And what you might find, kids, is that there's a, there's a, I don't know, a feel or a certain placement of those bass drum notes that you really like, that you think goes really well with the song. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you what that is, at least not now. I want you to experiment a little bit. Start with that basic part, boom, whack, boom, whack, boom, whack. And then you would add other bass drum notes. Okay. Let's pause for a second. I forgot to illuminate my face with my halo light. Do I look better now? Healthier? Or do I look like a do I look like a piece of fried chicken at Roy's Western Smorgy under those lights, you know, that keep it warm? <laughs> okay. Now the question on your mind is this. Mr. Hampton. Okay, I've been messing with the bass drum. Can I mess with the snare drum? You want to know if you can start putting the snare drum, the little triangles in different places. Well, yes, but sometimes that kind of messes up the feel. I mean, it kind of messes with what's going on in the music. You could put another, you could put two in a row like that. Let's hear what that sounds like. See, that gives it kind of a cheesy 50s feel. Uh, you could put one next to this. I mean, one before the main one. I, it just kind of, hmm, it kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. Anyway, most drummers, <clears throat> most drummers would leave the snare drum pretty much where it is without doing too much weird stuff with it. And they would do the improvising part with the bass drum. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys do that. And if you come up with something you think is really cool, you can post it in the comments. Some of you guys have done that. You've like copied the link, I think, and posted it in a comment and said, hey, Mr. Hampton, check this out. This is what I came up with. And it's been fun to see what you guys have done. It's really been pretty cool. So, way to go. You got that going for you. All right, friends, time for a breaking news update. That's, that's the news theme song there. Try that with your parents. Today, we have the chicken cam. So, hey, Tammy. Let's go to the chicken cam. Mm-hmm. There it is. That's one of the little chickens. <laughs> yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. We're getting not real good reception, but still, you know, just to see the chickens is a beautiful thing. All right. Okay, now, kids, what we're going to do right now is we are going to... We are going to sing Three Little Birds. We're going to do the chorus, we're going to do the verse, and we're going to do the chorus. And then I'm going to show you the second verse. Really, Mr. Hampton? All this for free? Yes, all this for free. <laughs> 
You're going to love it. Okay, friends. Here we go. I got my Fender Stratocaster. Yeah, baby. I don't like that. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. A quick review. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Don't worry about a thing. Oh yeah. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Get your mom or sister, dad, somebody to sing it with you. Now, kids, I'm going to share with you the words because you may not feel comfortable with them yet. All right, here we go. Woke up this morning, smile at the rising sun. Three little birds by my doorstep singing sweet songs. A melody pure and true Saying This is my message to you And clap. Don't worry Alright, now kids Ah uh, Here we go Alright, we did this Woke up this morning, smiled at the rising sun Three little birds by my doorstep Then we skip down to this part here Singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true, saying, this is my message to you. Ooh, ooh. And here is the new part, verse 2. It, go, it sounds the same as verse 1, just different words. As the sun rises, shines its light on me, warms the world and all creation. Now, every time I've done this song, kids like to say, creations there's no s there notice the absence of an s there okay all creation and then you just jump down here singing sweet songs and melody pure and true saying this okay so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to sing that for you as the sun rises shines its light on me warms the world and all creation Singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true. Saying, This is my message to you. And don't worry. All right, kids, now is the time. We're going to try uh, the chorus, the verse one, then the chorus, and then we'll try verse two. And here we go. Don't worry. About a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Sing it, don't worry About a thing Sing it, baby Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright First verse Woke up this morning Smile at the rising sun Three little birds by my doorstep singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true, saying, This is my message to you. And clap, clap, clap. All right, now I'm going to back it up and we'll do the verse again. Then we're going to do the second. Sorry, we'll do the chorus again. Then we're going to do the second verse. All right. One, two, chorus. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Sing it, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Second verse As the sun rises Shines its light on me Warms the world And all creation Singing sweet songs 
a melody pure and true. Say it, this is my message to you. And clap, 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 don't worry about a thing. Yeah, that's beautiful. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Singing, don't worry. All right, now kids, we don't have that much time to just keep going over this, but you can go back and do it again. Next week, I think, will really be the week that we work on putting the whole thing together in one big, ah, oh, one big thing, all right? So let's check in with the chickens. Check in with the chickens, chicken. That was kind of fun to say. What's the deal? Chickens, what am I paying you for? I told you to stand in front of that camera. Stupid chickens. Sorry. Silly chickens. Okay, let's pause for a sec, shall we? If you hear, like, giant machines in the background that's because the field next to our house is being turned into a new housing development that's probably what the chickens are afraid of so i'm gonna have some new neighbors about 52 of them so excited i love that okay it's time for the question and prize of the week roll the theme song it's the question of the week it's the question of the week so get all excited and don't get bited it's the question of the week all right here's your question you ready this is for a prize <clears throat> why is the bass drum called the bass drum I'll let you think about that for a minute. Hmm. Why is it called the bass drum? Now, if you need a minute to think about it, just pause it here, because I'm going to give you the answer. All right? All right. Answer. The bass drum is called the bass drum because it's the biggest drum, and it makes the lowest pitch, the deepest pitch. Boom, boom, instead of... I kind of like doing that. It goes boom, boom. Anything that has the word bass attached to it is big and has a deep sound. So a bass guitar, which I showed you a couple weeks ago, a uh, bass drum, a uh, bass singer has a deep voice. Oh, okay. That's why it's called the bass drum. Some of you might've got that. Way to go. If you did get it, here is your prize. Boom. These are salad croydon plantes aromatiques por salades. I got these in Amsterdam. They're sprinkly things that you put on salad. Whoa. They smell kind of like cardboard. But they give a salad that certain, mmm, ah, yeah, that kind of thing. Okay, here, try some. Ready? You can at least smell it. Ready, set, go. And I got them in Amsterdam because my host there loved putting these on salads, so I brought them home so my wife and I could try it. It was kind of fun. Now, kids. You're wondering about the cartoon wrestling thing. Well, here's the deal. This week, I'm recording my lessons a little early, so I haven't really got complete results yet. <clears throat> okay? I haven't had a chance for all the classes to vote and everybody to do that, but I will tell you where we are right now. Yosemite Sam is a little bit ahead of Fred Flintstone. Okay? Okay? Uh, yeah, a little bit ahead, but that could change by the end of the week. All right. Um, also a lot of you guys are putting in there, Yosemite Sam could shoot him cause he has guns. You guys in the picture, he had no gun. You are reading things into it that I did not put there. The school district's going to come after me and say, you're a violent man. You 
guns. There is no gun in the picture. You are assuming guns. I did not state guns, all right? That's on you. Anyway, someday I'll be able to give you the actual results, but it looks like right now Yosemite Sam is ahead. Let's see, is there anything else I have to do? Ah, uh, yes, our next set of wrestlers. Okay, if, if you are watching this lesson, and you are, uh, these are the next set of cartoon wrestlers you're going to vote on. One, Daffy Duck. <laughs> I love Daffy Duck. <laughs> I just think he's funny. He's one of my faves. All right. Not a lot of success in the world of fighting, but he is funny. Okay. Uh, number two, his opponent, Shaggy. Hmm. Shaggy. So there's your there's your question. In a wrestling match, no, neither of them are holding weapons. Okay. In a wrestling match, who would win? Daffy Duck or Shaggy? Good question. Hmm. And with that, we will have to say goodbye for a week, but it's in, been good to see you even virtually. I can imagine you out there watching, participating, interrupting, but it doesn't matter to me because I can't hear you interrupting. That's a beautiful thing. So we'll see you next week, you guys. Tell your friends to watch the videos. And don't forget to vote. Gangnam Star. Op, 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 op on Gangnam Star. Uh. Gangnam Star. Op, 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 op on Gangnam Star. Hey, sexy lady. Op, 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 op. Yeah, op on Gangnam that. Star. Hey, sexy lady. Chicken. Op, op, op. Goodbye, kid.